DC here, hi guys. Well, I guess I'm going to title this uh, this vlog the Lazarus Effect. Well, for a few reasons. One is I feel like I'm coming out of, out of the grave or coming back from the dead. Uh, it's been one heck of a week. I'm tired. It's Friday evening. I've been more or less sick all week, but I've had to work like a dog. And uh, what is it now? It's 7.30 p.m. And uh, I'm waiting for a bus now to go home. But I'll be home about from like quarter to eight. And uh, the other reason I want to call this vlog the Lazarus Effect is that I told you my computer died last week. And it's still on its, let's say, its last legs. What I've had to do is I've had to take it apart and uh, uh, check every bit, you know, every bit of RAM, every everything basically, and see why it wasn't starting. It wasn't booting. For those who you know a little bit about computers, it wasn't booting. Sometimes I'd get these little beep sounds. You know, there's little beep sounds that, with codes, and depending on what the beeps sound like or how many beeps, short, long, or whatever, you can tell what the problem is. Well, actually, either I had every possible problem or none at all, because I got every type of beep. And it didn't matter what I did, um, there would be sometimes some beeps, sometimes the others, and actually, the most confusing of all is that most times there would be no beeps at all. I couldn't boot, I couldn't even get into the BIOS for those of you who, who know what I mean, you know, so I couldn't do anything. I couldn't boot with a CD. Uh, I couldn't do anything. Basically, uh, it was powering on, and that was it. It was just like turning, and nothing else was happening. So finally, it just all of a sudden started. Uh, after it stopped, you couldn't start it again. And I'm talking about hundreds of times of starting. So now that it's started, it's not going to be turned off for a while. But that doesn't mean that I won't have to change uh, computers, I guess. I mean, it's just that I am waiting for it to uh, die again. And that's why I call it the Lazarus Effect, because Lazarus was called out of the grave, but he did die eventually. And that's what's going to happen to my computer. Yeah, anyway. So, uh, guys, I've been missing you a lot. I've not been able to listen to vids this week. And actually, even if the computer had not been like it was, I wouldn't have been listening to vids either. Because there was just so much to do. I think a lot of things have happened. I've seen that there's been a collab vid by Virtually Addicted, which uh, I have a participation in there. So if you haven't seen it, you should go see it. And uh, what else? Um, yeah, I've seen that there's a few vids that I'm still missing. Sorry about that, guys. I've just not had time yet to watch, but I will. And uh, as long as my computer is still running, uh, I'll you know try and make one few vids, maybe a few vlogs over the weekend. I'll see. I'll really see how it goes. Uh, no promises. You know, that's often the way it is. That's really, really the way life is at times. You don't expect things to happen the way they do. And, uh, you know, ha when the things happen, then you just got to make do with it. So, yeah, you know, the Lazarus effect brings up to certain things in life, doesn't it? I mean, how often do we think, you know, that a situation is gone, finish, kaput, you know, that there's just nothing else that you can do. And then all of a sudden, a saving moment comes, a resurrection. Eh, it's not a resurrection, it's a bringing back the life. But the resurrection is very often when life comes from itself. But anyway, I'll not, let's not get into theology tonight, I'm too tired for that. But, uh, you know, Lazarus called out of the grave, something that nobody was expecting. He was actually stinking, they say. Which means that, I mean, the situation was bad. It was a stinking situation. And something happened, and he got out of it. And that is how life is very often. Although, if we look at the flip coin, sometimes when something stinks, it just keeps on stinking. So, it's not always like that. So, that's maybe the message. Whenever a Lazarus effect comes to you, be grateful, be thankful, because, you know, I, I haven't heard of many uh, people call Lazarus, uh, and I haven't heard of many people who actually were called out of the grave like that. So I guess that means that it doesn't happen all that often. 
Yeah, is that my word for today? Probably is. You know what? I think I'm going to go home. See what we can do. I mean, Mrs. DC is actually at work as well, so she's just going to be coming home. Well, you know, past nine, I guess, actually, 9 p.m. So when she gets home, we'll probably watch a little bit of television, a DVD. We like to listen to an Andy uh, Griffin show, actually, on DVD. Uh, but what I'm going to do when I get home, I think I'm going to open a beer. Yeah, you know, it's after Easter, so I can have a beer now again. And, uh, oh, there comes my bus. So I'm really going to be looking forward to looking for your vids. I hope I'll be able to look at some. And uh, let me see. Let's try and hurry up and get into this bus now. Okay. So I'm in the bus now. Yeah, so I guess I'll, I'll bring you along for a little bit while I'm in here. It's not every time that you get to see a bus. Let me see. So I'm doing a bit of road work. And uh, it's not every day that I can vlog in the town bus. Yeah. Well, actually, as I said, I'm, as they say in England, I'm pretty knackered. So this will be DC signing off. Take care. Love you guys.